Okay, today is June the 20th, 2018, and right now at 9 p.m., we have a temperature of 66 degrees here in the foothills of Los Angeles. The relative humidity is 72%. The dew point is 57 degrees, and we have a barometric pressure of 29.96 inches. And right now we're looking at the western U.S. water vapor loop. We have a few things to look at here. We have a, a dual low pressure system right over Nebraska and it uh, looks like Iowa. Uh, we have uh, a right angle right over the top of that uh, developing weather system. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, central uh, plains water vapor loop. We can see that uh, straight edge, these two straight edges right here as this system moves to the east. So this manipulation, this is a satellite transmitter generating that right angle. Uh, here looking at the uh, rainbow loop, we can see these the, uh, two straight edges. If we stop the loop, we can scroll through and, and, and see just how uh, square uh, this right angle is. These two edges are almost a right angle. We can put the envelope in that contour and we can see uh, that that is uh, almost a perfect fit. And so yet we're being told that uh, on television, the fake news media, that uh, carbon dioxide and smokestack emissions are causing uh, the climate change, or rather the climate control that we're seeing or witnessing and experiencing in our environment. Uh, yet we don't see these satellite maps on the mainstream uh, television uh, at, at night. So we uh, wonder why that is. And the reason is, is because uh, the people watching would probably figure out pretty quickly that uh, straight edges like this don't occur naturally on top of developing weather systems. And so the people that are behind this nefarious uh, weather manipulation uh, would be exposed. And, of course, the Wall Street, uh, the, these uh, weather derivatives and catastrophic bonds that are being uh, dealt and sold to cities around the country, uh, the, uh, the scheme would be exposed. Because when you can con uh, control the weather, when you can control the weather, and these people are controlling our weather, uh, such as uh, this right angle right here, that causes uh, high pressure to be forced into a developing low. If we look at this uh, map here, this is the western U.S. water vapor loop. We see that we've got basically two low pressures. Uh, let's take a look at the surface map here for the uh, continental U.S. Right here, we've got two lows, 1,007, 1,008 millibar right here. These are spinning. And uh, down here, we've got a low over uh, Arizona, 1,009. We've got a low over Texas right here, which is 1,005. We'll take a look at these here in a minute. We've got an area right here being superheated uh, by a satellite transmitter. We can see the uh, blast pattern. We'll take a look at all that here in a minute. But uh, right here, we've got these two lows uh, with a right angle right on top of it. So this is being worked on. And let's go back and take a look. And what we would expect to hear from the people living in this area is uh, large hailstones falling, windy conditions and hailstones, probably the size of golf balls, maybe larger. And that is because there is high pressure being forced into this weather system to prevent and, and to break it down. You can see that right here in this uh, western U.S. Uh, infrared loop right here. So we've got that right angle. Uh, that system is being worked on. Uh, down here, we can see a blast pattern right over southern, southeastern uh, Texas. There's a huge thunderstorm system right down here, which has been superheated. We can see that pressure wave right out here, that blast pattern. That occurs when uh, the water vapor in this uh, thunderstorm is superheated. It expands, and then we see the, uh, the blast pattern and the rings moving out radially from around the uh, center of the system. Right here in the water vapor loop, we can see the same. A pattern. We have a blast pattern right out here on this uh, leading edge. We have high pressure installed, which is blocking all the, uh, normally these monsoonal uh, thunderstorms move uh, north up into uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and California. That's all being prevented. We can see that here. Uh, there is some rain in, in uh, Texas. We can take a look at the, uh, the uh, Doppler map and scroll down. Uh, here a few minutes ago we had we can still see it. There's a huge hole right there in the precipitation pattern where uh, that uh, transmitter superheated this uh, developing supercell. We've got a big clearing right here, and we've got precipitation surrounding that area where this was targeted. And that is the uh, evidence right there. So we've got a, 
a area of, of a developing thunderstorm right here, which was targeted, and we have a, a hole right in the middle of it. Okay, so we can see that a little bit better if we zoom out. All right, getting back to the map we were just looking at, we can see what's, what's happened right here. They targeted that uh, storm system. Same thing is happening right down here at the very, very tip uh, near Brownsville, I guess you would call that right down there at the very tip, southern tip. Uh, well, I don't know if that's Brownsville or not, but it's right at the very tip of uh, Texas right there at the border. Now down here over Mexico, same thing. We're seeing a, a cell right here being uh, targeted. But the the high pressure they are maintaining, they, the weather controllers, are maintaining high pressure right down here. We can see a, a basically two straight edges forming right here, one right along this edge and one right up here. That is preventing any northbound movement of this uh, weather. Again, looking at the Doppler map, scrolling down into uh, Mexico, we see uh, some precipitation. Brownsville right here that's I was right okay right there at the uh, border okay right there okay now looking up uh, towards uh, California and the, uh, the west coast we see no precipitation uh, that uh, upper level low that's sitting out between the Hawaiian Islands and the mainland is generating some uh, some moisture let's look at that again we can see the Upper level low, this is a closed upper level low right out here, between the, about halfway out. And we, we see the moisture streaming right towards California. So the people in Northern California are probably seeing a lot of jets, a lot of specially equipped jets spraying the chemical aerosols, which uh, are uh, capping the atmosphere and uh, lowering the relative humidity. Uh, the chemtrails are a chemical mix of aluminum and barium and other compounds, which uh, uh, cause weather manipulation. They uh, act as a desiccant, which absorbs water vapor, and they also cap the atmosphere, which prevents the precipitation process. Let's take a look here at the next water vapor map. This is the western U.S. We can see the developing weather system right over uh, Oregon. Now we have partial jet stream flow right here towards California. There's a disruption right here, and we see uh, some other, uh, let's go ahead and look at that map, just as long as we're at it. This is the jet stream map. We can see there's a disruption right in this area. This flow pattern should be moving right towards California. We can see right here that the high speed flow has been disrupted right there. Let's go back to the big map. And we can see what uh, what is actually happening here up on the uh, big map, the Northeast Pacific Water Vapor Loop. And we can see that the uh, flow has been disrupted by this uh, transmitter right in this area. area uh, see that uh, circular area opening up, and that's blocking uh, the uh, eastbound flow of the jet stream. We see also another weather system right here starting to spin counterclockwise. They've got a transmitter on that to prevent development. Same thing's happening up here. These uh, clearings are evidence of uh, transmitter manipulation. These uh, space based satellite transmitters which are either laser or microwave coherent microwave and they are heating the atmosphere and uh, causing this feature right here and the same thing's happening over here this right angle and the same thing's happening here this uh, upper level low is completely squashed and down here just uh, sort of west southwest of the islands we see a giant thunderstorm system down here which is uh, been blown apart, superheated. You see the blast pattern, that icicle pattern right along the top edge. You see the color change right behind this NOAA logo right here. You see the color change there. So this area has been targeted right down here. So we have the fake news mainstream media, which is uh, showing us animated cartoon weather and telling us that uh, CO2 is causing a climate change when in fact. We have uh, people that are uh, operating these uh, satellite transmitters. They're also operating the ground transmitters, which are the WSR88D uh, uh, ground transmitters, those uh, Doppler uh, radars, which are marketed as uh, severe weather detection radars. Uh, they operate dual function, and they can produce uh, high 
power bursts of microwave in the 2.4 gigahertz band. And that uh, will evaporate uh, moisture in the air. That will, it, it will evaporate. Those transmitters evaporate uh, moisture at the ground level. So we've got these satellite transmitters, which are manipulating the 500 and 300 millibar uh, level moisture, as well as the ground level moisture. But these ground transmitters around the uh, continental U.S., which, by the way, you can find all that information on Wikipedia about the WSR-88D and all of the uh, GPS coordinates around the country where they're located. You can go to Google uh, Earth uh, and uh, uh, take a look at what these uh, transmitters look like. They're stacked on a six-story steel tower, and there's a very large golf ball at the very top a uh, ray dome, which looks like a golf ball. And that uh, ray dome houses a parabolic uh, dish, which transmits uh, microwave energy. Uh, those uh, dis uh, those uh, disks can uh, pan and tilt in any direction. And so uh, that's what causes the uh, pie-shaped cutouts that we sometimes see in the precipitation patterns around the country. So the next time uh, we have an example of that here on the uh, map, I'll, I'll uh, go ahead and point that out, but tonight uh, I don't see much of that, so uh, I might be able to zoom in here over Oregon and take a look. There is a transmitter, a ground transmitter uh, near Portland, Oregon that uh, routinely uh, cuts, uh, cuts into the precipitation pattern and causes these pie-shaped cutouts. All right, so there's not really a good example tonight keep an eye on that uh, but uh, let's go ahead and look at some of these other maps we have the uh, we saw that already this is the uh, sea level pressure uh, analysis we can see the uh, high depicted here right over the uh, east pacific off the coast of california that's blocking the, uh, the weather moving uh, eastbound we have a surface low pressure closed low right here we've got a high in between these uh, we've got a high here and a high over here two highs and then we have a low right over Mexico and New Mexico and Arizona, right here. Closed low. It's kind of a messy looking thing. We see all these squiggly lines. That is the satellite transmitters at work manipulating the pressure right here at the surface level. Now, if we look at the next map, which is the 500 millibar, we'll see that there's a high installed right on top of this low. And that will prevent the lift from this low. So let's go ahead and look at that. We see the 500 millibar. That's 18,000 feet. And we can see these squiggly lines. That's the turbulent activity depicted along these isobars. So we've got a transmitter which is installed high pressure right on top of the low that we just saw over this area. So that will prevent the lift in this area. Also at the 300 millibar level, we have a much bigger high depicted with a lot of squiggly lines. This is totally unnatural. We have the upper level low right here, which I showed earlier. This is a a closed low. This should be generating a lot of moisture. Uh, we looked at that here. Let's go take a quick second look at it. It's right, right here, spinning halfway between the islands and the mainland, right here, streaming some moisture up into California and Oregon. So here it is, and and this should be generating a lot of moisture and cool temperatures to uh, bring rain to the southwest. But we see that the terrorists controlling our weather, and that's what they are. These people are terrorists. You're being uh, protected by our media, the American mainstream media, which is essentially an enemy of the American people. Uh, we've uh, seen a great example of of that uh, by the cover-up that's underway uh, un with the uh, FBI. The top people at the FBI <clears throat> are uh, corrupt to the core, and they are the ones that uh, manipulated or tried to man manipulate the uh, <clears throat> 2016 election, presidential election. And they frame Trump. <clears throat> they frame President Trump, and this whole thing has now backfired. And uh, so we're seeing, uh, we're starting to see uh, what's uh, developing into a much bigger scandal than Watergate. And of course, the mainstream media is not reporting any of that. If you watch CNN or MSNBC, uh, you, you're not going to hear anything about what's uh, going on. I would recommend uh, listening to Jerome Corsi. He's got a YouTube channel, very interesting stuff. Uh, in the meantime, we're just going to leave it right here, and we can see that right angle. So we'll uh, do another update here real soon. That's it.